hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time around my name is Trudy today I'm going to talk about a very interesting topic and the topic today is how to get into tech without experience so stick around okay guys so today I want to talk about some career related stuff and today I just want to give you some advice in regards to getting into the tech industry so if you have a if you have a passion to go into tech and when I talk about tech everything related to technology so think about companies like Google HubSpot Zendesk Salesforce Indeed Yahoo you name it the list goes on and on and on and on and if you have a passion to really work for those kind of companies you might think oh you know maybe you don't come from that background maybe you don't have an experience in technology at all i'm i'm the same like i didn't have any work experience in like a technology company until i had the opportunity to work for a google and their product google adwords so for that job i moved all the way to dublin which was a great thing because dublin is actually the mini silicon valley of europe seriously all of the tech companies majority of the tech companies are also based in dublin i just want to give you some few tips to get yourself into tech if you don't have any work experience in technology companies first tip that i can give you is look on linkedin like linkedin is your best friend when it comes to tech companies because usually they are always hiring you'll find it on their website as well but I found it to be easier on LinkedIn. You can determine yourself what kind of content you want to see. So you can type in, for instance, kind of job that you're looking to do. So for instance, if you want to be an account executive, you type in account executive hiring, uh, account executive hiring and then you choose the company Google usually those people that are hiring or even employees that are, are looking to refer people they have it in you know one of the posts that I, that they usually uh, put out there or in their uh, job title or uh, yeah usually in the content they've put out before so what linkedin does if you type in those kind of keywords linkedin linkedin just crawls the net and you know shows you the, the most relevant uh content out there it doesn't necessarily have to be the latest but you can sort it out you can choose yourself if you want to see the latest first or the oldest whatever you have it in control but i think linkedin is a great way to look into tech related jobs and usually if you found someone or if you found someone who just posted that hey yeah google is hiring or maybe hotspot is hiring or they have it in a job title or hiring just feel free to send them a message or comment beneath their post like uh how can i get in touch with you I, i'm interested stuff like that and most of the time they reach out to you what you also can do is you can you can just go to their profile and just send them a message but i found this to be a very very quick way to actually get your hands on a tech related role my second tip is to look into if you can get yourself referred to a tech company that works also really fast it happened in my case uh, i wasn't necessarily looking for a job last year because i was doing freelance well one of my ex-colleagues uh, back in google adwords uh, was working for salesforce and he sent me a message that hey they're looking for people and i think you might be a good fit so what he did is that he referred me to come in contact with the uh, with a recruiter and that's how the ball took off and it can go really quickly like you, you can find yourself that you have already a phone screening or an interview with a tech company in a week time so getting referred is a great way to be considered for a particular role in a tech company so look into your uh, friends group even if it's not your friends people that you've worked before because that's why you have LinkedIn LinkedIn it's not Facebook and it shouldn't be Facebook don't be ashamed or don't be afraid to reach out to that person that is currently working for you know a tech company that you really really want to work for because in a lot of tech companies usually when they refer you and you get hired there's a nice 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 referral bonus that they get in return so 
I wouldn't see why they wouldn't refer you unless they didn't really know you or they really think you're not qualified enough. But yeah, you can always just try it out. Uh, my third tip is to consider relocating yourself. Relocation, like I know it can be daunting sometimes and maybe because of your situation it's not possible. Maybe you have like a family or maybe something else that uh, you know moving is not an option but if any way possible it is an option i would definitely recommend you to relocate to a country or a city where you know a lot a lot a lot of tech jobs are grouped together in europe for instance dublin is your place to be at this moment dublin i think they're having an influx of a lot of expats moving and relocated to dublin to work for a lot of tech jobs because a lot of tech jobs are just growing and growing and growing their offices in ireland moving to dublin really made a change in my career because you are surrounded with all of those companies you know and so the chances of getting yourself into a tech company just becomes a little bit more feasible and quicker and another thing that i can also tell you is if you're looking for you know uh, growth opportunities when it comes to career wise you're looking for quicker promotions in a city like dublin where there are a lot of tech companies and where tech companies are also growing a lot the chances of you you know moving quicker up it depends on your on your career journey that you want for yourself but if you're looking to have you know uh, if you're having an entry-level role but you have the dream of having a senior role and then becoming a manager or a director it becomes quicker when you enter you know the branch where it's just expanding more quick quicker than a local office where it's a little bit more steady and a little bit slow uh, slow paced I would say so if you really really have a chance to live abroad and move abroad you know it's great for your experience and you know moving to a city where you know there are a lot of tech companies that's even betting your chances of getting hired and starting into a tech company just got 10 times bigger the last tip I can give you is this actually goes hand in hand with the uh, previous with the previous tip that I've given you. If you have an additional language than English, for example, it would be great if you're moving. For instance, if you would consider to move to Ireland to Dublin, that'll be a great thing. Like for instance, if you speak French, Danish, German, Dutch. Portuguese, Turkish. I think I've named so many languages, but basically if you speak a different language than English, this can really work in your advantage if you really want to move into a tech company. Because the thing is, if you go to the headquarter of a tech company, where it will be in that headquarter, they have markets. So you'll be operating from a particular market. And if you're operating for a particular market, that means most likely you will have to speak the language. So bingo, they want you. So those headquarters are usually looking for people that can, you know, operate the market. So if you can speak a different language and if you manage to find, and if it happens that that tech company has their headquarters in where you're based, that is even fantastic. You can get in much much quicker especially if you're looking into roles like a sales job or an you know sales slash account executive or like a customer relationship kind of role where you have to be in contact with the customer then you're off because they are usually looking for those kind of people to operate the market especially when the headquarters is expanding guys those were my few tips on how to get yourself a tech job or how to get into tech without any experience i hope these kind of videos were useful if not drop it in the comment section if yes also drop it in the comment section and i'll catch you guys very soon thank you so much for watching I'll catch you guys next time. Bye. Celebrate. Your man look good, but I'll put him away. If you can sweat the weave out, you shouldn't even be out. There are no reservations at the